Hey guys! Today I'm going to be drawing a new printable sticker sheet for Etsy while answering a few of your questions. Late last year I put a little question box on my Instagram stories and I picked some for this video. So let's jump right in! How did you get started as an illustrator? So I've been drawing on and off literally my whole life. I've always loved drawing, but it was only when I got my first iPad Pro in early 2017 that I got serious about it. And then it was only in 2019 when people started requesting commissions from me that I actually realized that anyone can make an income from illustration. And then in 2020, I started taking it seriously as an actual job and started creating content and making a real income. When did you start and how do you make money from this? At the moment, my illustration income comes from Etsy, where I sell printable sticker sheets, and from Gumroad, where I sell my brushes, ebook, drawing bundle, and soon tutorials. I also take commissions occasionally, and I've just relaunched my Patreon, um, so that's still a small chunk, but I'm hoping to grow it this year. With illustration in general though, there's literally endless ways to make money as a freelancer or as an in-house illustrator for whatever company. I've actually got this topic saved as an idea for an upcoming YouTube video too. How did you create your own style? There's a video on my Patreon about my digital art journey and how I found my art style with some tips to finding your own art style. A quick tip I can give right now though is to not pay too much attention to finding your style. But instead, practice, practice, and practice. And if you keep practicing long enough, I promise your own unique style will start to emerge. How do you come up with ideas to draw? Honestly, this is probably one of my biggest struggles. My goal here is to be a bit more creative with my illustrations. In general though, daily life is my main inspiration. Like when something funny or cute happens with my kids, I enjoy making a little comic or illustration about that. When I don't know what to draw, I tend to revert to comfort zone portrait drawing and I usually find inspiration for that by going on Pinterest and searching for cute outfits, cute accessories or hairstyles. And honestly, with three little boys and everything else about life, a simple portrait is sometimes literally all I have time and energy for. I also like to go through saved draw this in your style challenges and maybe do one of those. How do you draw with three kids? So my husband and I both work from home. And up until October 2021, we had all our boys home with us every day too. But you know, seeing as I was serious about building an art career, my husband and I prioritized time for me to draw every day. I still only drew during nap times and after the boys went to bed though. Um, when our third was born last August, we decided to enroll our older boys into a morning playgroup because it was literally completely impossible to get anything done. So since October 2021, it is definitely a bit easier when you've only got one baby to take care of for a few hours a day. When do you open commissions again? Guys, I get this question literally every day in my DMs. The best way to know if I have commissions open is just by keeping an eye on my account. I either make a post on my feed or put it in my stories. But I actually don't take that many anymore because commissions stress me out a lot. I feel so much pressure when drawing somebody that paid and they've got expectations, so I just can't do it too often. What are you doing in free time? What's a free time? No, seriously, with three boys, a husband, a house, work, I actually don't know what free time is anymore. Help. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? 100% introvert, definitely. What's your favorite Animal Crossing villager or character? Mine's Coco. I think she's super cute but I haven't managed to get her on my island yet because I don't play that often. How long does it take to finish one illustration? My illustrations are quite simple and usually take one to two hours, maybe longer if it's more complex or if I'm having a hard time getting things to look the way I want to. Do you remember your first follower? If so, who is or was it? I have no clue. But it was probably a bot if we're being real. 
Can you please suggest any books that would help to improve in illustration? Um, I really don't think books are the best thing if you're starting out. As a beginner, I definitely learn best by just watching other artists draw. Just search for Draw With Me videos on YouTube. Um, tutorials from other artists are also great. I've joined many different Patreons over the years for exactly that purpose. But the best way to improve is by practicing. It's boring, but it is literally the only way to actually improve. Favorite Procreate brushes? Definitely my own brushes. I mean, there is a lot of nice default Procreate brushes, and I've even purchased a handful of brush packs from other creators, but in the end, my own brushes are my absolute favorite because they're exactly what I want to need to achieve the look I'm going for. How did you come up with your color palette? I love using it so much. Thank you. I've written a blog post on my Patreon with tips to finding your color style and keeping color consistency. And I'm also planning a video on this topic, but your unique color palette is exactly like your art style, something that evolves slowly over time. Do you recommend paper-like or pencil nibs? So I've been using paper-like for over a year and I absolutely love it. If you can look past the fact that your screen looks very scratched when the iPad is off, and honestly it's not even that bad, then yes, I recommend it because it's not noticeable when you're drawing and the feeling is worlds better than drawing right on the glass. And as for pencil nibs, I've never used them so I can't say. May we know your iPad type and what app you used to draw? I actually still use my 2018 iPad Pro 11 inches and Procreate of course, but I am hoping to upgrade my iPad when we finally make our move back to the US. Now for the final question. Is it wise to want a full-time art career? You can kind of ask this question about any career, right? There's pros and cons to every choice, but there's so many branches to art. And if it's something you're passionate about, you can definitely have a long successful career. There's also so much potential to have something different than the usual 9 to 5, which I love. So I definitely think it's wise making a career in something you truly love. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for sending your questions and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.